What's up guys, it's Super Ray Dizzle here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to all the new subscribers out there. I had a little influx on my channel recently. So a while back I saw this video by Makeup by Michael Finch where he did a whole entire makeup face, like a whole entire makeup look, but instead of using makeup he used rigged prison supplies. So today I'm gonna try to A, make my own art supplies and B, try to draw with said art supplies. And I know what some know-it-all people are gonna say, but Ray, they don't have that in prison. But fear not, because with a quick Google search, I found the actual commissary list from a prison in Alabama. The prison in Alabama is a federal prison, and in PDF form, they have everything they can buy on the commissary list. So I'm going to be using every single product from that list. So there is one exclusion, and that's that I'm gonna take a writing paper and exchange it for drawing paper. Just as a disclaimer, of course I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings or make light of a situation or make dark of a situation. This is just fun! So without further, <laughs> so without further ado, let's just start the video. The first thing we're going to use are some Skittles. Now when you mix these with water, they become this awesome makeshift watercolor. Next up in the game, we have some instant coffee. Now once you mix this bad boy up with some water, you get an awesome alternative to watercolor. And just throwing this out there, I do have a video all about watercolor coffee. And I will link it down below. Now onto the more boring stuff you're allowed in prison. Pens, pencils, and paper. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is get anything that holds water. In my case, I got a little tray. And all I'm doing is filling it up with water. And right off the bat, this is already messy. So now all I'm doing is just putting in the Skittles one by one by coordinated color. And I can't believe there's not a blue Skittle. I was- they have every single color, but not blue, and that really upset me for some reason. Anyway, almost instantly you can see the dye starting to come off the Skittles. And it kind of made me think, like, what am I putting in my mouth? And, of course, after a few minutes of just letting them sit there and rotating them so both sides get the color, they look like this. Like some kind of a body part. That's when you know it's good. And again, this was really messy, so whenever I did try to pluck these out, it was kind of difficult because they were sliding everywhere and melting and all the candy was, like, starting to melt. And so eventually I just got tired and was like, screw it, I'm just using my hands to pick everything up. And just like that, we have a little palette of watercolor. Which is actually really cool how easy this is to make. Now, onto making the brush. And this, this is where it gets weird. So let's start from the beginning. So in Alabama prison, you can't have tape, but you can have band-aids. And we're gonna use this as an adhesive. Ooh. And now, we need some hair for the brush that we're going to make. I don't have many moments on my YouTube channel where I'm just like, what am I doing with my life? But this moment, this moment was one of them. Ugh. That's like two months of growth for me. I can't grow my hair worth a crap. Ugh, that was hard for me to watch. Anyway, so all I'm doing is getting that little tuft of hair and just throwing this out there because I would be wondering if I was a viewer. I do have good hygiene and I do take care of my hair and I wash it often. Anyway, so all I'm doing is getting that band-aid and attaching it to the pen. And it kind of looks like a little, a little, uh, you know, paintbrush. Later on in the video, I did decide to like trim it up a little bit and I just want to secure it and make sure it looks nice. So I'm going in with the second, <laughs> looks nice. Did you just hear me say that? Uh, <laughs> and I'm going in with a second band just to tighten it up so it'll be more secure. Here's a pre-drawn image. I chose to do pre-drawn because I felt like nobody wants to see me sit there with a pen and paper just draw something. Like, that's boring. I mean, unless you want to see it. So, yeah, that's how it looks like when I draw. So, moving on to how the colors actually work. I guess we're just gonna go right in. So starting off with that yellow, I'm gonna see how well it works, and surprisingly, it works pretty good. But keep in mind, this is not watercolor paper. I feel like people in prison don't have access to watercolor paper, just regular paper. So this is 70 or 60 pound, I can't remember, smooth paper. There's nothing too crazy about this. You can get this at any craft store. 
I'm speeding up the video because if not, we would be here forever. Now that green, and trust me, I used a lot of Skittles for that. It just did not work out in comparison to the yellow. It just, ugh. So definitely not a dupe for the watercolor. Now onto the purple, if you can call it that. It is definitely not good by any means. I'm not expecting much because obviously it's Skittles, but man, that color. It's like the color of someone's blood who's been dead for like 20 days. It's, it's, it's just not good. Anyway, that color right there is the actual red in... Ugh, I love it. I love it so much. It works so good. And the red was super easy to make. I used way less Skittles than I did the other ones. Mostly because I eat the red Skittles. Like, who eats the yellow Skittles? Anyway, and it was just so nice. I love the red. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the high quality picture of the finished piece. I can't believe this is made out of Skittles. On to the second one. This image I just kind of completely made up in my mind. The other one I had googled heart anatomy and got some ideas for some sources. But this one I was really excited about because I was using the coffee. Which by the way works amazing if it's instant for a watercolor replacement. And I was super pumped about how it was going. Everything looks nice. Like since it was such smooth paper and it was a little bit thinner. All the colors were turning out nice and they were blending with each other. And I was starting to use a little bit more water than what I had previously. And then I had noticed that this happened. Dun dun dun. Look at that. I guess what had happened was some of the sugar didn't fully melt in there or something along the lines of that and it just kind of made this weird texture on top of the watercolor and if you notice the lip has like a dark spot it's because some of the water I don't know it like melted some of the ink that was already dried on there and kind of bled onto the lip but hey sometimes you just gotta roll with the punches and just go with what you got and eventually I ended up liking some of that rough texture Several hours later, this is the final piece after it has dried. And I'm sorry about the weird blue hue, but it just looks really cool. I kind of like that texture, man. If you guys ever go to prison, hopefully not. Just know, Ray Dizzle taught you something. Anyway guys, I love you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really do appreciate all my new subscribers and I hope to put out more great content for you guys. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you next video. Bye! What's up guys, it's Super Ray Dizzle here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be rigging some prison art supplies. Uh, oh god, oh god.